Ponte di Savea. Ponte di Savea. Oh, you, I'm supposed to guess what, what the quantity. Interview. They probably give you something, and you have to do like a lot of surveys. Uh, look at the contour of the land. Construction. Oh, quantity surveyor. Maybe measure something. Oh. Is it like they count the bricks? Huh? Account for the number of raw materials, construction materials. I think a quantity survey has something to do with costing, but I'm not very sure of the exact work scope. You want to find out more about this? Yeah, okay, sure. Cheryl, when we talk about professions in the building industry, we know what an architect and engineer does, but we have a rough idea of what a quantity surveyor does. Can you elaborate more on the role of a quantity surveyor? Okay, let me just put being a QS in three terms first. We are actually one third accountant, one third lawyer, and actually one third engineer. We are accountant because we actually advise the developer on the cost aspect. Then for a lawyer, we actually advise the clients on contracts issues. We are also so called one third engineer because we need to understand the construction process in order to come up with all the costs to advise the employer. We know that quantity surveyors are in charge of costings and contracts, so do we have to stay in the office all the time? Being a quantity surveyor is actually not that bound. We will definitely have to get out of the office, uh, attend some meetings like uh, consultant meetings, site meetings. As a quantity surveyor, there's actually three different stages of work we do. We call it pre-contract, post-contract and the final accounts. During the pre-contract stage, uh, when the so-called the design is still fluid, we actually advise the developer on the cost of the so-called proposed building. If the cost meets the employer's budget, the employer gives the green light, we start preparing the tender documents. We will call for tenders, then the employer decides, OK, let's award to this person. We actually start preparing the contract documents, and then we go into uh, monthly valuations where we recommend payment uh, for the work done by the contractor. So we actually go down to site to actually uh, take a look at what they have done against their claim when the building is completed. We settle the bill, confirm the final value of the constructed building. So at the final account stage, signed off, that's where our job ends. I understand that the design stage is more fluid, so can the quantity surveyor be more proactive in suggesting alternative cost-efficient design? Uh, definitely we can. We, as a quantity surveyor, we actually take care of uh, the developer's pocket <laughs> in terms of their money spent. If the employer says, um, no, it's over my budget, we will come in and see uh, which areas we can cut and suggest to the architect, like, hey, Mr. Architect, can you actually, we look at these areas, um, these are uh, too pricey. Every project is actually economic-based. Uh, for a project to take off, it must be um, actually feasible in terms of monetary sense. So that's where a quantity surveyor comes in. We are important from the start to the end, actually. <laughs> when you mention the word quantity, does it mean that a quantity surveyor has to manually count the number of tiles? Is it true? I would say previously, uh, manually count the materials. Yes, we actually last time we, you know, open the drawings, we take a ruler and we, we start measuring. That's uh, manual measurement. But now it's uh, I would consider it passe. Uh, because now we actually have uh, software which actually assists us in uh, doing electronic measurement. Everything is um, faster, yeah. So everything becomes more efficient. Yeah. So why don't I show you um, the software that my company has adopted? What we do is we actually take the soft copy drawings from the architect. Then we can start doing our measurement. For example, uh, we want to know how much it costs to fit out this room with uh, floor tiles. Yeah. So we need to know the area of the room. So we just need to click, enter. So this room is 41 meters square. So what we do is we take this quantity, put in the rate for tiles, and then we will get the cost for fitting out tiles to this room. Yeah. So this is actually very easy. Is there a growing trend in the construction industry to adopt technologies to help in, in the construction process? It's actually a growing trend in the industry to adopt advanced technology. 
in their course of work. Such advanced technology is like building information modeling, BIM. BIM actually helps the professionals to design, build and manage buildings. So benefits include better coordination among the consultants. Uh, so it will actually result in less rework and all of this will achieve cost savings to the developer. Initially, I thought that a quantity survey is a very tedious job because it involves manual calculations of uh, the building quantities for the materials itself. But with the introduction of the software, it can reduce any errors that are done in manual calculations. And with this advancement in technology, the whole image of construction industry is changing. The productivity is improved. For me, I actually like the construction process. I'm actually very interested in how a building is constructed. Another aspect of me, I'm actually pretty interested in numbers. Yeah, so um, between so-called engineering and accountancy, I think I actually came across this. It is actually a combination of these two. So I said, why not just try for it? During your span of work as a quantity surveyor, what are the challenges that you have come across? We have to understand that sometimes things have to move fast in the construction industry. We have to just bite the bullet and just go through it. When we come to cost, the contractor can disagree, the developer actually can also disagree. So this is one of the difficulties that we face, having to be the middleman and trying to stand by our own assessment. We need to be a fair player. Professionalism is actually very important. Despite all the challenges that I have met, at the end of the day, um, seeing a constructed building you know, actually gives me the satisfaction and gives me the motivation to continue on. It really helps me to overcome all these obstacles. This is the F1 Singapore pit building. It is about a 40 million project. This building is something that we actually see on TV every year during the F1 night race in Singapore. I am actually very proud of this building because I actually was involved in it. That's where the ultimate satisfaction is uh, when you see the completed building. So, are there any opportunities for you to go for overseas to handle projects? Yes, actually. For me, now I'm actually handling a project in Bali. Doing an overseas job actually gives me the exposure to know okay, what, what, what goes on in other countries, what is their construction practice there. And being a quantity surveyor, you will have a chance to travel if you want to travel. Yeah. For my company, we actually do uh, different types of projects. We actually did the Sentosa Resorts World, which is something so different. I mean, it's not an everyday project. Construction industry is also very dynamic. Every project is different. The learning cycle actually never ends. So this is where the interesting part comes in. When you know that you have never learned enough, the, the fun never ends, I would say. As a quantity survey, it's actually very interesting and challenging because you have the chance to be involved in different kinds of projects when you know that you have played a part in contributing to the whole project from the stretch. It's actually very fulfilling. The greatest satisfaction is to see a building being completed. The construction industry is also very dynamic. Every project is different. When you know that you have never learned enough, the fun never ends.